Hi, you guys, and welcome to the Laundry Chat Podcast, a place where we help each other sort out life's laundry. My name is Molly Marco, and you are listening to episode 21. You probably have never heard of my friend Kyle. He isn't on TV, he doesn't have social media, and he's not striving to be famous. But I think that's what I appreciate most about him. He is always himself and always fully with you. Being an Enneagram 5, he's better at, ob- at observing than observing his emotions, which, as an Enneagram 4, is something I definitely need to take more notes on and get better at. <laughs> Kyle is one of the first people I met in college, and from then on has become a friend, a neighbor, a problem solver, a fellow Star Wars fan, and someone I will never forget. In this conversation, we talked about facts and feelings, opinions and open-mindedness, social media, and being sensitive. This conversation is jam-packed with insight and experience from two seemingly opposite perspectives on the world, but ones that I think both work better together. If you ever decide to listen to this, Kyle, thank you for doing it. Truly, I'm grateful that one of our many discussions is now forever documented, and I hope that it helps all of you listening in one way or another, whether it be seeing the bigger picture in life, not letting small emotions take over, or just deciding to save the environment. (laughs) All right, let's get into the interview with my friend and fellow Jedi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Molly. How is it going? Not bad. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Like I said, I will. I'm excited to have you on here. Um, I, yeah, I'm just excited. So, um, for everyone, I mean, I'm sure people who are listening actually don't know who you are. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself Uh, for those who don't know. All right. Uh, my name is Kyle Manning. Um, I'm a senior here at the university of Wisconsin River Falls, graduating with a degree in conservation and a minor in sustainable studies. Um, that's me. That's it. I, I think. I think. I don't that's know. What, you what know. else would you like me to no, say about? I mean, I. I think that's good. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess. Um, so, what do you want to do with your major then? What does a What are you going to do with that? Save the world, I suppose. That's probably noble. not. Probably not. <laughs> but I'm. You know, I, I like to take care of habitat. I suppose to make habitat for animals. I like. I like to do hunting. So, I mean, if. If I was going to go hunting, you know, I'd like to have good land and, you know, a lot of deer or turkey on it that I can hunt. But I want to do it responsibly so that there will be many deer and turkey to come for many years. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah so basically saving so, the world. Yeah, basically saving the world, you know, <laughs> most of the time. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, me and Kyle have known each other all four years of college, um, which is actually kind of crazy. When you th- I never have thought of that before, actually. I mean, I have, but, like... It's been, yeah, it's been it's four been, years. It's been a very short four years. It has. It really, it has actually, yeah. Um, so yeah, now, and now we, we survived dorm life and now we're basically neighbors um, yeah. for the past two years now. It's so weird. Like <laughs> to say things in years just seems like way too massive Daunting. of a time. Oh, yeah. God. It's like, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, so Kyle, um, I want to start asking everyone on the podcast this question, but it's what's your dirty laundry lately? What's something you've been struggling with, something that's annoying you, something that's been bothering you, even just, like, something, any big or small, whatever it is, what's, you share the, 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 the deeds. (laughs) Burden. I don't know. I'm going to grab my coffee, actually. I guess if I was to say my dirty laundry, stuff that I need to clean and organize would probably be my room, first of all. (laughs) I mean, moving out to process, so I got to start organizing all that and getting that ready to be moved out. But that's not what you're looking for, is it? <laughs> not, I mean, <laughs> if that's really bothering you, then yes. But <laughs> not anymore. I've got most of it done, so it's not really on my to-do list. But I, I guess uh, making sure that that I say, you know, do like do like the farewell deal, you know. Make sure everybody knows that. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm leaving school now, and mm-hmm. I'm going to be gone for six months, and then uh, kind of organizing that so I don't forget anyone. I think that's probably going to be the hardest thing. Yeah, that's yeah. a stressful. I think goodbyes are so like I would rather almost like avoid them because you want them to be special, and but you don't want them to like it. Just feels so heavy. I don't, even know, about, I don't, I don't know. even know about that. I, I think it's more of the fact of like getting to the location that the same that the person is and saying goodbye to their face and like making sure like you know I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. 
miss being around you on the occasion, you know, mm-hmm. like being like, all right, well, you're a friend, you, you know, this has been good, but I'm leaving now. <laughs> we'll see it, it whenever we see you again. Yeah. And I, it's not so much like, oh, I'm sad that we're saying goodbye, but I'm, I, I need to organize the time. Mm-hmm. Yes. To make say sure goodbye. that it happens. Right. And yeah. And follow through and do it. Right. I yeah. think that's, that's probably that's the, the most, I guess my dirty laundry. I don't know. That's a good one. That's the dirtiest yeah. thing in my basket yeah. right now. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's a good one. Um, something that yeah it, it is definitely something that would weigh, like at, at least for me, like thinking about Texas. I haven't thought about it much, but like I'm gonna have to do that same thing, right? And I just don't even want to postpone it. It's no. <laughs> but the, the most stressful part is is thinking like, all right, well, I have to do this, and I have a month before I leave. Who do I say goodbye to first? Who do I know I'm not gonna see? Mm-hmm. And what's the their schedule like? Right, and what are they doing? So, maybe, but. You know, making sure that you say goodbye to the important people last, or do you say goodbye to the important <laughs> people first? I mean, how do you how do you do that? I don't know. So I, hope you can I really haven't done a whole lot of it. <laughs> I've kind of just been mashing it together. And if somebody wants to go say goodbye to me, they can come say goodbye to me. Yeah, because it's coming <laughs> but, up fast. If you guys, I don't know if we said, it, but you're going to Montana oh, yeah. for your conservation yep. thing. Yep. I don't know exactly what it's called, but like, yeah, so you'll be gone for six months, and that's you're leaving in like. Next week. Next week. Next week on Friday, I'll be leaving River Falls. Be leaving Hollandale on Saturday. Getting there on Sunday, and then yeah, settling down. It's crazy. That ah, oh, it's crazy. Everything changing. It's just weird. Very um, exciting. let's change pace a little bit. Okay. Um, I want to ask you about your opinion on personality tests, like the Enneagram and Myers Briggs, all of those thing. those things. I re- like your honest honest opinion about them because like, you know that I'm like I really like them but um I know a lot of people even my roommate Ellie like is kind of like you know I like them but to a point um so yeah what what are your opinions on stuff like that do you think they're accurate do you believe in them or do you think they're just uh, I initially I just want to say it's a it's a crock <laughs> yeah it's just a load of honky is how I initially yeah. want to it's how I initially feel about it but I think I've, I've done too many of them now to to know that they're not and I feel bad, like, I, I, I'm not proud in saying that I've done a lot of these tests, but a lot of the, the classes that I've taken have been like, all right, who are you? Mm-hmm. What, how do I get to know this person without actually getting to know this person? Well, taking these tests, I guess, is a pretty all right way of doing it. And sometimes the questions are, are kind of just weighted, it seems, I don't know. They don't always mm-hmm. seem the most fair, but yeah. the one that you had me take was there was a lot of questions, and apparently there was a lot of statistics behind it, so apparently they know what they're doing. And then reading a little piece of paper they gave me about it it seemed pretty act i mean for the most part pretty accurate i mean obviously there are generalizations as with everything yeah but it i hate to say it but the the one that you had me do i, I think is, is all right decent yeah i think i like that one too like i was into the myers Briggs for a long time and then just like last year i found the one the anagram the one i had you do and i just feel like there's there's a lot more flexibility in it and a lot more like you can really like find yourself in it and I think it's a lot more accurate because it doesn't like put you in a certain category and like be like oh no since you're these four letters you can only be these four letters like right um yeah so um yeah um what what number on the anagram are you five I am number five (laughs) and what does that kind of like do you know maybe like so for you who don't know what the anagram is um and know what the Enneagram 5 is. I'm going to read that thing. I um, Type 5s are called the investigator. Um, they believe knowledge is power. Um, they collect ideas and skills, which you are a very, like, big collector of ideas and, and facts and, like, knowledge and all those things. Like, I feel like you're always just, like, like very curious about things. Um, it says here, um, and, and this is, like, generally, they trust their head over their hearts. Um it says that, um, what else? They prefer solitude to relationships, which I could see. Not that, like, you don't, like, value relationships, but it's, like, right. you, you're a very independent person. You don't, you're not scared of being alone. Yeah. Whereas, like, I know a lot of people who, it's, they're terrified of being alone. Um, yeah, so that's just a little recap of, of the Anagram 5, which is Kyle. Um, 
So the interesting thing about sorry, I'm gonna like no, get, well, I'm I, almost done. I'm gonna get to your question. I realize I'm like apparently talking. it is an important thing to know. <laughs> Just to like for some people who have no idea. Um so on the Enneagram it's a circle and it goes like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um Kyle's a five and I am a four. So on the Enneagram, there is like all the numbers connect it but four and five, like there isn't like a line connecting them. It's kinda like mm-hmm. weird. So it's like the head and then the heart center. So I'm a heart center, you're a head center. Um, and like it's – I'm like more feelings and Kyle is more facts. So I think that's interesting. Like I, I don't know. I just think that's interesting. That, right. I don't know. So close yet so, so, so far. So far. Yeah. Um, and so I guess I kind of want to ask you about um, like how – what's like your – like – Maybe this. I think I maybe had a different question. How I was going to ask through the that. day. What? Basically, yeah, no, but like, but like, what what does your typical day look like? What do you think about? What do you like? What does it look like being an anagram five and having, like, um, just like the way thinking the way that you do, thinking about like being curious about things, like, like you know, ideas and all those things. Like, I don't know, and also being alone a lot of the time. Or, I mean, I don't want to say that right. you're alone a lot of the time, but just being okay with that. Like, what does your a typical day look like? All right. And this is where <laughs> you having to ask questions is going to be very helpful. Okay. I, I know. I, I mean, every day. Yeah. You know, so this you is normal to me, so I don't typically describe, I don't typically wake up thinking, yeah. hmm, man, I'm really thinking about thinking right now. <laughs> no, I, I kind of wake uh, up and I guess if I'm walking you through the whole day, I kind of wake up and I'll, you know, I'll lay in bed for a little bit and think about what what day it is, first of all, and what I have to do. And then I kind of think, well, I should probably be getting out of bed quick. You know, it's probably time to go do something. And I, I might go for a run, or I might do a bit of homework, or I might just yeah. lay in bed for a little while, and, and, <laughs> and that's about it. Uh, but then, you know, eventually I get up out of bed, and I'm doing my things, and it's like, all right, well, I'm going to eat breakfast because... I've always eaten breakfast, so I'm going to continue to eat breakfast today. Uh, and I guess I don't really think about that a whole lot. Uh, I just kind of do it. And then I kind of think about, all right, well, let's go to class. And then I kind of go into my nothing box for a little bit. You have a nothing box? Apparently everybody has a no- uh, all. Uh, I used to work with a guy who used to say all men have a nothing box. <laughs> okay, then maybe... <laughs> So Maybe it's just a guy thing then. I kind of spend most of my morning in in my nothing box, <laughs> yeah, <just> looking. <laughs> really, just like this this you know, maybe I'm thinking about something, but I'm not actually thinking. Yeah. About it. I'm just kind of yeah. like observing, mm-hmm. just kind of looking at the things that go on, and I kind of spend most of the morning doing that. And about mid morning comes around, I'm start actually you know I start thinking about maybe this I could do this. This would be cool, or maybe like oh, maybe I want to go talk to this pretty girl or that, you know, Mm -hmm. whatever it is. You know, maybe I want to do my homework this evening and, or maybe I want to do it right now. And Mm -hmm. I think, well, I should just do it right now and get it done with because then I can do whatever I want later. And that typically happens, you know, partway through the day. But once it gets, you know, like the 12 o'clock, you know, 1 o'clock, you know, I'm typically getting pretty hungry, so I try to eat food if I can. Uh, So I do that, and then I get tired after I eat food, so then I kind of drift back into the nothing box for a little bit, and I kind of just focus on, and I'm not really focusing on it, but I'm kind of just thinking about, mm, man, it would be really nice to take a nap right now, um, and kind of tail end of the two o'clock, it's kind of like, well, I am not tired anymore, so I kind of think about doing things for the rest of the day, and it kind of does another little cycle there, and it's like, all right, well, come four or five o'clock, it's like, all right, now what do I need to think about? And then I'll think about something for a little bit, if it's a piece of homework or if it's some idea that I've been thinking about. It's just like, all right, well, this is interesting, this works, this doesn't, this is the merits to it, these are the disadvantages to this idea. Should I do it? Probably not. Could I do it? Probably. And then if it's a really good idea, I do it. If it's not, I don't do it. I think I'm kind of rambling, but then <laughs> then towards the end of the day, I kind of like to go into the nothing box again towards bedtime, like 9, 10 o'clock. It's like, all right, I'm going to sit down and read a book, mm-hmm. and then back to the nothing box for a little bit. It's really not that eventful being me. <laughs> I think it's a very, like, not to be, like, stereotypical, but a very five answer. Very five <laughs> A answer. very, like, this is what I do, and I weigh out this, and, like, so when do, like, do feelings, when do emotions come into play into your day? 
do you feel like what do you feel like during a typical day like what emotions do you feel throughout the day or do you just feel pretty like consistent every day uh it depends on what I do that day I mean if if I was to say a typical day was that would be a typical day and a typical day I guess yeah I don't really know if I feel a whole lot of those but I mean there are times when like I'll be talking to a person or and then I'll have like a I got a I don't have an idea or a thought about, well, I don't dis- I disagree with that person or, man, I really think this person's cool. And I'll go off on like a, like a thought tangent. I'll be like imagining what the future could be like if I kept, you know, this person around, we built a relationship mm-hmm. or whatever. Uh, and, you know, we became good friends or, you know, whatever it was. Or if I meet a girl, like, or if I even like just like say hi, someone's like, hmm. What it would be like da, 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 think about you know mm-hmm. the future in that regard like hmm, how could this person fit into my life in that way and I guess there's emotions there I mean you kind mm-hmm. of they take like yeah. I guess they take a back burner I don't know but yeah. sometimes when they do I kind of tend to focus on those and that's the big problem for the day is how do I deal with with this feeling like if I am excited about something how do I deal with that or if I I don't know yeah. I don't really, yeah. I mean, then then those take over my thoughts for the day, and that mm-hmm. kind of dictates the day. But that would be an abnormal day because I don't think that yeah. happens. I mean, it, I mean, definitely like three out of three days out of the week that happens, but mm-hmm. or four days out of the week typically I don't think about them a whole lot. Yeah. No, I like the I like how you said that you like keep them on the back burner. I think that's interesting, actually. I mean, they're still there, and like mm-hmm. sometimes because yeah, it's not like they're I'll, not there. I'll think about like, if I'm like sad about something, which typically doesn't happen. I don't know if I'm too sad about a whole lot, but then I'm really not happy about a whole lot. Either. <laughs> I mean, I like things. I mean, don't get me yeah. wrong, but I mean, like the genuine, like happy feeling, mm-hmm. like I, I kind of reserve that for like once a month. <laughs> I, I save it for special occasions. For special occasions, yeah, that's funny. Well, speaking of like relationships, like how. What do relationships for you look like typically? Like how I don't I this is kind of a general question, but like what do you like I don't know what part do you play in relationships and what what like emotions do you feel around that and what what do your relationships what do your friendships look like? Do you talk a lot? Like in you know what I mean, do you have uh, friends that you talk to every day? Do you no, text? Do you like I I typically like like we've we've established before, I tend most spend most of my time alone, um, and if I want to go do something at some point in the day, I'll be like, hey, you know, what are you doing later? Let's go do something. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it, it's typically more of like an event or like a like a like a thing. It's, you know, we plan. I I try to yeah. plan it out if I'm gonna hang out with somebody. I don't know. It seems like I need to like prepare i guess i don't mm-hmm. but i don't yeah. prepare or anything no, it's, it's but just like, like, it's like are we gonna hang out today well i don't want to typically be blindsided by it yes. but sometimes i yeah, do no, I'm like sometimes too, yeah. i'll just wander over here and i'll be mm-hmm. like hmm, yeah i guess i'm hanging out with these yeah. guys tonight <laughs> and and that's kind of what it does and you know, what i do mm-hmm. but i mean i guess typically most of my friends contact me if they want to do something which is fine, and, and I mean, sometimes I go out of the limit, I mean, it's not set mm-hmm. in stone, but I yeah. go out on the limit, I'm like, hey, what are you doing, let's let's mm-hmm. do this, this could be really fun, uh, but I guess more often than not, I would assume, I would say that people talk to me for, like, they ask me to go do something, Yeah. but if they ask, I'm, oh, I, you know, I always try You're to not, do like, it, yeah. right? Do you, do you have, like, a lot of close friends, or a few close friends, or do you have, like, only, like, one close friend, and a lot of Sort of close, or you know what I mean. Like, what yeah. kind of is your group like? I guess it would, def- close it would, it would depend on how you define a close friend. I, I would, I would consider all the people that I associate with, you know, close friends. Okay. Um, but I associate with a lot of people. So I mean, does that mean they're close, or does that mean it's average? I mean, <laughs> no, actually, I don't know. But I, I mean, I would consider, you know, if I had an issue, I would probably go to them for it. But I don't typically mm-hmm. have a whole lot of issues. Yeah, yeah, which I. Yeah. Hmm. I would can say I would say that I'm a low maintenance friend. <laughs> low maintenance. I mean, low maintenance. That's true. Actually, I would I would agree with that. Like you're not, you don't cause like I don't worry about you. You know what I mean? I don't worry like oh I wonder if me and Kyle are still friends. You know what I no, mean? I never I never wanted like I could not see you for like two weeks and like I don't have to like distance doesn't determine like mm. if we're friends. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. No, I'd agree with that. Whereas, like, sometimes people, some people, if I, like, I haven't heard from them in a while, I'm like, oh, 
what did I do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, did I do something wrong? No, um, I don't, yeah. yeah, I don't think that's a okay. thing. What do you, um, what was I going to ask? Like, how do you deal with other people's emotions, typically? Maybe you don't know the answer. This wasn't on the, on a, the list, but, like, do you, because, I mean, people around you have emotions. Like, what do right. you, do you, how do you deal, because I'm sure people have, like, told you things and. Right. I like to think I'm generally sympathetic. Yeah. Not empathetic, but sympathetic. Yeah. You know, I, I, you know, I feel bad for people sometimes, but at the same time, I, I, I think that, you know, a lot of the problems that people have are, I mean, easy to get over. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, like, I felt like I've had a lot of, the, a lot of similar problems to a lot of people, mm-hmm. and I like to feel that I just sit down and take some time. Be alone for a little bit, uh-huh. figure it out, yeah. and you're okay. It doesn't seem like the end of the world to but you. But it doesn't seem like some people do that. Some, and, I, and I don't like to make that generalization at all because everybody does figure it out in the end. Mm-hmm. But it seems yeah. like sometimes people forget to do that. Yeah. And I think that's probably the most important part. If you have an issue, you need to sit down by yourself and figure it out. Mm-hmm. I like that. But maybe that's maybe that's just because I'm a five or you know whatever, whatever <laughs> no. this number means. It makes me who I am. No, but, but I think that's true. I, think, I think that's so true. I think that's almost, you know almost a universal truth i mean yes mm-hmm. there's a lot of things and I, I i mean seldom does it happen but yes i have gone to people for help mm-hmm. before i mean when it's yeah. when it's an issue that i just simply can't deal with or i haven't dealt with before it's like man i don't know what to do i don't know what yeah. i'm doing here you know I'm yeah kind of lost so then 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 it's a different story you know mm-hmm. go talk to someone about it but typically like yeah. I don't know. When other people come to me with their issues, I try to, you know, w- use some sort of logic <laughs> so and true. be like, all right, well, this isn't the end of the world. You realize that, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, that's... you're going to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> you got food in the fridge. You got water coming out of your faucet. You'll be okay. Yeah. And even those you don't need. You're doing better than most right now. You, I mean, but maybe that's me. No, I think that's, I mean, I think that is very, like, um, a very key characteristic to you, like, that, but I also think that, like, what you said about, like, I think no matter what number you are, like, to sit alone in your feelings, whatever you're feeling, Mm -hmm. whatever you're going through, like, is, you know, important, like, I think everyone needs to do that, like. But it does no good to stew on them, either. Exactly. You can't just sit there and let it simmer, and, I mean, you gotta deal with it somehow, Mm -hmm. I mean, however that is. Some people like to go for a run. Some people like to play video games. Some people like to do whatever. But, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, we're going to stay on the topic of relationships, I think, a little bit. Um, and just name, like, one thing that you're you're good at in relationships. With Maybe, maybe we already, like, talked about it. And then one thing that you could, like, improve on in, in like, your relationships, friendships. Like, something that you, you could do better. Uh. I guess one thing I am good at, I like to think I can listen pretty well, and I like to think that if somebody comes to me with a problem, we can typically sit down and figure it out. Mm-hmm. I like to think that. I like to think whenever somebody leaves, you know, a meeting with me about an issue, I like to think that we have at least at least progressed uh, the remediation of the issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I like to think that I can put things into perspective well for people. That's, yes. Fit into, like, the that. bigger picture or, you know, fit into the smaller picture. You know, if you need to be more focused on something or you need to mm-hmm. expand your view on, on a certain issue. I like to think I can do that pretty well. When it comes to uh, improving my relationships, I would probably say that I could probably be a little bit more emotional some people might say mm-hmm. but you know like sharing yeah. oh yeah feelings or something mm-hmm. you know I mean, we've yeah. talked about it before but I think yeah, we that have would probably be the biggest issue that I would have I don't do that <laughs> I don't I would hardly even do that with myself yeah so. that okay yeah that's, so I mean it's it's that's mm-hmm. probably the way it goes and it's probably not very healthy I don't know if it's unhealthy but hey I'm but fully functional. you seem fine right. yeah you seem like you're doing okay but yeah I do kind of like I remember wondering that like I don't really actually know how Kyle's feeling. <laughs> like, I know what he's doing and, like, what is going on in his life. But, like, how does he feel about all of this stuff? Like... Comes back to the nothing box. Yeah. I, it's, it's a glorious space, I tell you. <laughs> I'm, like, actually jealous of this. Like, I didn't know that it, it existed. Oh, it's was, a thing. Oh, my it's, gosh. It's a real thing. I, you know, and maybe it's a waste of my time, but I really enjoy it. I don't know. It. I think... Because I guess maybe my nothing box would be, like, when I... 
but I'm still doing stuff. Like, I'm still, like, going on YouTube, watching videos, going through, like, the internet and stuff. Like, I guess that's kind of where I, like, am able to just think about whatever. Or, you know what I mean? I can, like, pick versus, like, as I go through my day, like, I can't really, like, I feel like I don't have much control over what I'm feeling all the time. You know what I mean? Like, and then, mm-hmm. and then once I feel something, it feels like it, it controls the rest of, you know what I mean? Until You're I feel something else. It, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, if I, if I, like... Like, here's where I, like, differ from you is, like, if I, um, like, mess up on something in the beginning of the day where, like, I, I missed, like, I posted the wrong post on the wrong page or, like, I, like, messed up on, like, a, a photo and it looks bad, like, if that starts off my day, then, like, the rest, like, as I go forward to the rest of my day, I'm already, like, discouraged, already feel, like, awful oh, yeah. until something else happens where someone's like, hey, like, you're doing a good job, like, I really like, I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, like, I'm fine, you know right. what I mean? And then, like, it just, like, shifts, like, I so it's hard to... That. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the thing. I mean, like, if I wake up and I, I don't know, burn my toast, <laughs> I don't really eat toast, but if I burn my toast in the morning, I'm going to think, man, today is over. <laughs> Done. Not doing it today. <laughs> but I I know what you mean. Like, if something mm-hmm. bad happens in the morning, like, I... But you're, like, the like you're so good at just, like, looking past it, though. I feel like, like right. you said, putting things into perspective, I feel like you're just good at, like... Like, in the moment, it'll, like, get to you, but then, like, you just see the bigger picture, I feel like, somehow. Right. You just say, like, well, at least I have another slice of bread. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> one time, like, for example, last semester, I was writing my senior seminar paper, mm-hmm. and I realized that I'm a horrible writer. And so I would have a friend, you know, like, review a part of my paper, and I'd be like, well, there's a lot wrong with this. And I need to, f- I need to fix this. But it was like, all right, well, now I feel dumb, you know. I just can't <laughs> write this paper. I should know about this. I did the research mm-hmm. on it, da 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 And it's like, man, my day is... What a bad day. I don't know how to write. I can't do anything. And it's like, wait a second. This isn't even that bad. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I don't really know if that's relevant at all, but I think it pertains I think so. to something. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to, like, switch. Actually, no, we're not. We're, well, kind of. Um, so Kyle is known for having very, like, strong opinions on things. Some Some things are important that he has opinions on. Some things are not so much. But you're still able to, like, keep friendships while having strong opinions. Do you know how you do that? Like, how are you able to, like, say your mind while also not, like, offending someone and risking that being, you know, the end of a friendship or something? I think it comes down a lot to the language that you use when you're, when you're bringing up the issue. And as you, as you approach the person with the issue, so, I mean, I think that's the biggest part is if you say... Like, if, for example, if you're arguing with somebody about not doing the dishes or something, I don't mm-hmm. know. Something kind of menial like that. It's like, you never do that. Well, don't say you never did that because obviously people do that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, you know, that's nobody's going to respond well to that. But I think, the, I mean, the language that you use is the biggest part. So I don't I don't think I use a lot of language like that. And you'll probably, you'll probably know... You'll probably notice when you're watching or listening to this that I say, I don't think or I don't know. Yeah. And then, you know, mm-hmm. I'll say, you know a lot. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I've probably said it over a hundred times. I say that a lot, know? too. And, it's yeah. just, and it's, I mean it as a question. Like, mm-hmm. it's like, do you, do you agree? Are like, you understanding what in, I'm like, saying? And then if, if they have, like, a look on their face and it's like, uh, no. And then I kind of have to, like, all right. You, like, then I elaborate a little bit on that. Mm-hmm. Um and I, yeah, I don't think anything is anything is very like absolute um, either. Like Molly says that I like she thinks that I have strong opinions. I don't really <laughs> have you know, very many strong opinions, if any. I like to think that there's some you know things that you should do, and those, I guess those are my opinions. Uh, <laughs> but if if somebody can come up to me and say, well in the big picture or at what scale or uh, in what way is something better or worse? Well, it's like, okay, well, uh, if, you know, I'm trying to think of like a non-controversial example to yeah. this. That's um, a, yeah. But, okay, so something that I know a little bit about, uh, invasive species oh, yeah. are, like, are like a big thing mm-hmm. in, in conservation. Well, some people ha- are of the opinion that invasive species are not a bad thing. And this is very few people, but they think that they're not a bad thing because, you know, they're helping build, like, a global ecosystem rather than, mm-hmm. like, a more localized ecosystem. Well, and then, I mean, based on 
a bunch of other research that I read in my education is like, all right, well, no, we don't, you know, invasive species do disrupt things. They are, you know, but then you say on the thousand year scale, you know, or 10,000 years from now, is it really the end of the world if three to four, you know, species took over an area and then they started mm-hmm. adapting and evolving if that's what you believe and they, you know, create a new ecosystem that's a thousand years in the future. So, I mean, there really aren't a whole lot of rights and wrongs, I don't think. I think that it really depends on... And I, when I'm having a conversation about my opinions, that's how I do it. That's how I facilitate my conversation. So I don't really say, well, this is my opinion, and I'm not changing it because this is yeah. right, and this is all I know. Well, not really. No one knows everything. <laughs> You're going to be wrong sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's, kind of the way of, it's kind of the way of it. Really. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're definitely, like, very open-minded. You know what I mean? You do, and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, yeah, you're you're very open-minded, but you have, like, your opinion is always willing to change. I'm never, like, feeling like you're going to, like, judge me, or, like, that I'm, it's pointless to, like, discuss things with you, because, you know what I mean? Like, you're, like, I don't know. Um, yeah, so it always definitely keeps things interesting. <laughs> some some would say it's because I don't care a whole lot. I don't even think that's necessarily true. Mm-hmm. But some people have said like, well, maybe you just don't care a whole lot about it. I, I don't think so. I I think I care about this. I'm you mm-hmm. know I'm pretty sure I, I've spent a decent amount of time you know thinking about whatever issue it is. I'm like, I think I care about this. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah. Uh, I just I'm willing to. I don't know a whole lot about a whole lot. So if somebody comes to me with, well. This, that, and the other thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And tell me more about it, please. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I can either disagree or agree based on what they say. But even then, with that topic, I still don't know mm-hmm. where I stand on it. Yeah, no, I heard I heard that um, like one of the smartest things you can say is, I don't know. Or like one of the like See, bravest I don't agree. things. Or like something think, like that. It was like, what, what, I think it's like, what, what, maybe it wasn't the smartest, but it was like something like that. Like, I, and I think that's true. I think I like to admit to admit that you don't know something is like yeah. a very like. Well, that's not the pinnacle. Of, I mean, that's no, not a that's like, not a smart okay. thing. I mean, I think there are objectively <laughs> smart things to say, and there are objectively mm-hmm. like if you can, if you can. Uh, so, I had a really good. I had I was thinking about this one in particular earlier, and I was like, okay, this is is a really good example. I can bring this up. It's just going wow. I uh, no, I can't think of it right now. So if you have, if you say, ah, oh, man, this is an issue. This was really good. Um, if you say, I need a glass of milk. Okay. Um, you can always, that's, that's not even good. You, you can always expand on something. So if you say, I believe in... Uh, what is it? What's the big controversy in psychology? Nature versus nurture. I believe yeah. in nature. You know, nature influences everything. Well, at what scale? I mean, it really depends on the scale that you're talking about. Uh, now I've lost my own train of thought. It's okay. I'm not good at this. No, you're doing great. <laughs> if you remember it, just like right. say it and you can say it. Um, I think so. Okay, so this is one thing that we've had sort of conversations about. But your opinion on God, which is, like, a very, like, I think even, you know, people who do believe in God still have a lot of opinions on God. You know what I mean? Um, So I guess the first question is, what is your kind of, like, are you, like, what are you in your stance with God? And then what do you think about God? Or do you even believe in him? Or do you think Uh, we're all just crazy? I I don't think anybody's more crazy (laughs) than I am. I think I'm pretty crazy. Uh... I, I, I do, I, I do, I would say I do believe in God. Maybe not some sort of anthropomorphic version that I think a lot of people have, but... What does that mean? Can so, like, and for someone who's with, listening almost, who's like, what is that? Like, some people, answer, so anthropomorphic means, like, with, like, like, a human aspect or human element to it. Okay. And whether that's the defining or dominant feature in, okay. like, the idea or thing, um, doesn't really matter. But, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's, you know, people like say, well, if God is just, well, God's not a person. He's not, you know, going to be just. I mean, he's, he's going to do whatever he wants. I mean, I, there maybe there's, like, some entity, but he's not a person that says, well, this is okay, or this is bad for people, or, I don't know. Uh, he's got a, I, I don't really know how to explain it. 
I, I don't think he's like a person. Though. I don't think he's a he. I think it's a thing. Okay. I don't know. Well, I don't think he's a person either. Right. I, well, but some people, I, I have talked to some people and it's like, well, he does this and they use like he a lot or she, you know, some people use she. And I it's would, like, yeah, I would use he. And I, I was like, well, I don't even know. I mean, it, it helps. And I've done, I literally just you know, <laughs> called him a he for like a minute. Uh, but I don't think that's necessarily the, you know, the meaning of it. Okay. Uh, I guess short, I say I do believe. I don't often think about it unless, unless I need to. Yeah, unless it I kind mean, of like comes up. Unless it's it... really pertinent to the day or the yeah. conversation, or if I'm having some sort of existential crisis, it's like, what do I believe? And I just need mm. to touch back on that. And be like, yeah. this is kind of what I think about, but I haven't mm. had an issue like that in a while, so I think I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> did you did you grow up in the? I feel like maybe I've asked you this, but like, did you grow up like going to church, or did you? Yeah. Are your family? Yeah. Yep. Yep. My family is all pretty. Pretty Lutheran, for the most part. Um, I would say that if I was anything at this point, it'd probably be like non-denominational. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, read the Bible; it'll tell you all the things that you need to know. I mean, you can learn enough from reading that if you ought to. And yeah, I think, didn't you read the whole thing? Oh yeah. Yeah, Kyle read the whole Bible, so he's ahead of me. Well, I think I think you ought to read. You know, read the book you believe if you're going to believe mm-hmm. it. I've read. <laughs> I've know. read it. I just haven't read all of it. Right. Not like straight through. And I guess that was just me being me, and I felt like I needed to read it one day, so I, I read it. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Do you, like, what are your what are your opinions on the Bible? Like, after reading it, like, what is your kind of summary of, like, what do you... I think there's a lot of things. I think it's definitely a book that you have to analyze. Mm-hmm. And you can read it one time, and you can think 37 different things about it. You can read it a second time. Yeah. A thousand different things about it. And, yeah. I mean, you can just con- continually think more and more about it, Mm-hmm. And get different answers every time you read it. Uh, it for that, you know, I think it's very interesting. I think it's a. I don't know if I want to say it's. It's very thought provoking. I mean, nonetheless, I mean, I even mm-hmm. you know, if if you read the Bible, you know, God tells you He wants you to challenge His Word, and if the Bible is His Word, mm-hmm. challenge everything that He says in there. I mean, question if it's the truth, question if it's real or not, and make your own decisions. Uh, like not, I mean, obviously. Things that he writes in there, he calls them the truth, but maybe they're supposed to be a facade, or maybe they're supposed to make you question him and be like, well, this is not necessarily it, or this is it. And I, and again, I'm not an expert on it, I'm not, you know, I've never really studied it, but yeah, I think I put some time into it and think about it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's interesting. But it's meant to be questioned, yeah. I think. I mean, you're supposed to believe, you know, most of it, but I think you're supposed to question a lot of it, too. And I think that's the important part. I love that. Okay. Um, what about, like, since, again, like, and I don't want to, like, make generalizations, but since you do, you are, like, focused on facts, you know, you like to, and that's what makes you, I think, a good, like, debater and a good, like, person to, like, have discussions with because you all, it's not, like, just things that you're feeling or things that, you know, maybe will be true or things that possibly could happen in the future. It's like, no, but this is how it is. Um, given, given that, what is your opinion on, like, faith? Like, how does that tie in? How does, like, mm, faith... Like, like, kind of, like, faith... Faith as in, like, the religious sense, or faith that I'm going to make it through the day, or mm, what kind of faith I mean, are we talking about here? Uh, I kind of want to go both directions, but I don't know how. <laughs> yeah. Like, for me, like, faith is important in, like, you know, the religious sense. You know what I mean? Like, faith in, in God, and, like, because you can't see him. We don't have... We have, like, evidence, but not, like hardcore evidence that, like, a lot of people right. want. Nothing you can um, publish in a journal. Yes, yeah, yeah. nothing that could be like, okay, everyone has to believe that God exists because this evidence happened. You know what I mean? God, like, left uh, his signature somewhere, you know? Um, so how do you, like, balance, like, faith? Either either just faith and th- things that, I don't know, like, things that you can't see with, with like, facts. Like, do you think there's a place for faith? Uh, yeah. I think faith is a very important thing to have. Um, whether it's in a religious aspect or whether it's in, uh, you know, like faith that you're going to have food tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Um, or, you know, you're going to know where you're going to sleep or, you know, what you're going to be doing tomorrow in terms of work, if you're going to be having an income, if you're going to make money. Uh, I think, you know, that's important because you have to have a level of comfort to function well. And if faith, you know, in 
in your religion is what gets you through the day, great. If faith in knowing that you're going to have food or friends to hang out with or da 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 this, that, the other thing that you think you, if you if you have faith that your phone's going to work tomorrow, if that's how you have, operate, I think you, you ought to have that. I mean, yeah. you ought to have some sort of comfort and ability to rely on on your thought. I mean, faith is a reliance on what you think. I mean, you can bank on what you're thinking to be true. Um, I think that I think that's important. Mm -hmm. And if if faith, if religion tends to be your outlet for that, great, hundred uh, percent, awesome. But I mean, if it's simply you know, what are you gonna eat? Great too. I mean, mm -hmm. you gotta eat. That's yeah. important too. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I. Um, what is this? I don't know if this ties into faith really, but what is something that keeps you motivated or helps you keep the faith? Whether, like, whatever you have faith in, whether it is just like if it is God or if it is like yourself or like what helps you, I guess, yeah, keep the faith or keep motivated throughout the day. I don't know if I get to keep... I don't know if I'm in control of that. I think it kind of happens. I think that kind of comes from what happens in the day. A lot of a lot, of, a lot of what I deal with is outside... Uh, you know, everybody deals with outside influences all the time. Uh, I think that's kind of what dictates a lot of my face. So if somebody comes up to me and says... Well, like when I got the job in Montana, the guy who came up to me, you know, he didn't come up to me, but he called me or emailed me, like, hey, we'd like to have you come to Montana. I was like, all right, well, now I need to re readjust what, you know, do, will I be able to talk to my friends that I made in college? Will I, where will I be after the six months? So I don't know if I have a whole lot of faith in what mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing. Um, so I guess, I don't know. That's a hard question for me to answer. I don't know. I kind of just do. You kind of just do it? I know that everything's worked out until this point, and I've been clever enough to make everything work out. <laughs> so I think, I I guess I just don't worry about that. I think I guess I bank on myself to mm -hmm. know that I'm going to be all right. If that's what Interesting. You're <laughs> yeah, I, no, I think it comes, I guess, <laughs> I guess I was wrong initially when I, when I said that it comes from outside. I think it comes from inside. Mm -hmm. I think I just do it because that's what I always have done I always typically I always succeed no, <laughs> no I don't always succeed I make a lot of mistakes but I think in the end everything works out well for at least it's worked out for me so far mm -hmm. uh, eventually my luck will probably run dry but <laughs> that, that day's yet to come um okay so now we're really going to change topics um Kyle doesn't have social media at all he doesn't have the only thing he has is like LinkedIn which is the most boring social network you could possibly be on. Um, so, yeah, so I, like me, being a person who's pretty active on on social media, um, kind of thinks he's, like, I can't, I just, like, can't, I just don't understand. <laughs> um, so what are your thoughts on social media? Um, like, how do you feel about it? Do you think it's a good thing, a bad thing? What are your, um, what are your thoughts uh, on it, and why don't you have it? I'm not going to call it inherently good. I'm not going to call it inherently bad because it has its merits. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not going to say it doesn't. Uh, it has its you know, disadvantages as well. I personally tend to think more about the disadvantages of it, uh, which, you know, more face time with, I mean, less face time with people, less, you know, communication, uh, you know, less well, direct communication. Uh, nothing seems as personal when you're using it. Um, but I mean, kind of, that's kind of the biggest thing that I feel about it. Not, I mean, it doesn't seem as personal. It seems more artificial whenever you, whenever I text somebody saying, Hey, you want to go do something? It's like, why don't I just like walk down the street or up the upstairs and ask them or like, mm -hmm. you know, wait until I see them late. It doesn't seem natural. It doesn't seem as almost, or, you know, an organic, mm -hmm. you know, relationship, if that's a thing. Uh, but I guess that's like my biggest thing against it. Um, but I mean, it's, it's 
great in terms of time efficiency. I mean, you can really do a whole lot with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it makes things really easy. I mean, obviously, computers are great. I love them. They're great pieces of technology, but I think sometimes we use them too much, and they're very good work tools. I don't think that I enjoy it. I, I used it when I was I used the Facebook a little bit oh, when I yeah. was in high school, and I was like, <laughs> "Just yeah, what what made you all right? You just got bored of it or not? Right? Use well, I didn't it? really use it a whole lot because I don't know. I just didn't really have a need for it, and now I still think like I don't really have a need for it. Like, if somebody wants to tell me what they're doing all the time, just tell me about it. We can sit down <laughs> and have a conversation about it. Like, sit down and talk uh-huh. to me about it. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, in terms of work stuff, I love having email. I love being able to send an email to somebody and be like, hey, do I need this, that, and the other thing? Or calling someone and be like, hey, I need this. Or even sending a text just quick to make sure they have the information and they can do what they need to do with it. I mean, it's all great for that. But but in, if in my personal relationships, I mean, sometimes it helps if, like, hey, where are you at? Why are you late? You know, that's kind of nice, but... I don't know. I think it, it has definitely taken over too much of people's lives. And that's that. the, the deal. I, I like it. Everything's good in moderation. Mm-hmm. I'll just yeah. throw that cliche that's in there. <laughs> Everything in moderation. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's a good point to bring up. But yeah. that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Do you feel ever like you're missing out? Not having so- social media? I'm sure I'm missing out on things. But you don't feel like you are? I don't feel they're important things. I mean, if they're having like a little... True. banter or argument on Facebook. Maybe I could put my opinion in there. <laughs> Is it going to matter if I do or not? No, it's not. I mean, if, if, if it's an important enough issue, they can talk to me about it. I would be delighted to sit down and have a conversation with them, but I, truthfully, I don't think I am. You don't think you are? That's... I mean, I'm sure there's things that I am missing out on that I just don't understand about it. Yeah. But I don't, I don't value them currently. Maybe it's because yeah. I don't know, but... Mm-hmm. Maybe it's because they're not important enough. Yeah. Hmm. I know, I'm trying, because you probably don't even know, like, what you're missing out on. Or or what, it, good and bad. You know what I mean? Because you're also, like, yeah. there's a lot of things that you are, like, avoiding that's, like, good. You know what I mean? That you're, like, social, you know what I mean? Right. Like, so, yeah, I don't know. That's, uh- I mean, I guess part of it, too, is, like, the whole media present, presence thing. Like, people can uh-huh. advertise to you and whatnot, and I don't. Oh, yeah, that's kind of, that is kind of... I mean, I don't need it. Like, people trying to, like, push their opinions on me. It's like, sure. Uh, yeah. I'm glad you have an opinion. I don't want it. Yeah. Or you have an idea on it. Like, I tend to think I keep my opinions myself. If I want yours, I'll ask for it. Mm-hmm. That's how I kind of feel on the internet. If I want your opinion, I'm going to ask you for it. If yeah. I don't, don't give it to me. But, I mean, that's kind of what you pay for when you're using something free online is you're going to get someone else's opinions and someone else's influence. Do you, what are some other benefits that you can think of of not having social media? Like, as you've been, like, what you've heard about it, other people's experiences, or just, like, even just in your daily life, like, what's something that you like about not having it? Like you said earlier, I don't I know, know I, I don't of... really know what I'm missing because <laughs> no. I don't use it. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, maybe, I mean, I've heard someone talk about how if you use it all day, it can it can make you really appreciate the time that you have when you're not using it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so maybe maybe I am not appreciating the time that I spend not using the technology as much as I should. Um, you know, I mean, because when you, when you are doing something or aren't doing it, your grass is always green on the other side, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you might yearn for something because you don't have it, but when you get it, it comes a new normal. Ah, uh, this is all right, you know, it's whatever. It's like being in a relationship, if you've never been in a relationship, man, this is really great for a little while, and then it becomes, you know, a little bit. Yeah. And you kind of forget that, like, oh, man, this is one of the most important things that I could ever be doing, you know, and get mm-hmm. myself into. And then you kind of take it for granted. So maybe that's where I'm at right now. Maybe yeah, yeah. Maybe just not using it, I'm kind of taking it for granted. I don't think I am because I tend to enjoy most <laughs> of my time. I think so, too. Like, and I think, I think the fact that even, like, at the end of the day, like, you read a book. You know what I mean? You just have a lot of extra time that, like, most people would just, like, resort to checking their phone or, you know, I feel like even, you're just, like, not on your phone as much. Like, when I'm around you or, like, like you just aren't, like, glued to your phone. Like, I'm definitely, like, always on my Like, like, so, yeah, I just think that that's something that, I don't know, you're just very present, I feel like. 
Sometimes. Well, Sometimes. Not my nothing box. That's okay. Yes, that's valid. <laughs> valid. <laughs> yeah. No. But that, I, that's a box of my own creation, not a box <laughs> that sits in my pocket. Yeah. Not like a. Yes. Like a yes. Because <laughs> um, this definitely can be a nothing box. Like it literally can be so it, like dead end. It like, is like, like, box. Like, <laughs> yeah. But then again, like sometimes it's not. Like sometimes it can be like your connection to like the world. Do you know what I mean? Or your way to like I don't know. It it I don't know. It can just be like you said. In moderation, it's good. And yeah. <laughs> um. Let's see. Anything else of like? Did you remember what you were gonna say before? No. I'm no. Lost. It's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. I I won't figure it out. <laughs> um. I think. I think. Should we do the? I think we're on the last question, actually. The last. If question. you're ready for it. Yeah, I think I can handle you it. Can I think if I've it? handled all the other questions, I think <laughs> I, I know, can handle yeah. one more. You did a really great job um, with some of these because I wouldn't know how to answer some of them. Like as I asked them, like I'm so sorry. <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> it, it was um, kind of painful, <laughs> but, <laughs> but we're almost done. We're almost like, done. Um, okay, so what is one thing? in in your experience let's just go like maybe just in general of what you've noticed lately what is something that the world needs more of needs more of i mean for the, i mean as a conservationist the one thing that i can say is habitat habitat quality habitat that would be the one thing i would say but i i think is if you're looking for something a little bit more social is that what you're kind of looking for <laughs> i feel bit, i feel like you would look for something more social applicable to life maybe <laughs> right and you know like a like a mental well-being or like, a, yeah. like an emotional thing that i really am not the best person to provide <laughs> no but i think that's wrong um, i think that's wrong because like i think you of all people might be like the most perfect person to ask that because you don't let them affect you like you just you're able to like right. move past them i think I don't know. one of the biggest things is that, and I mean, it depends on what, through what paradigm are you looking at, you know, society or the United States or the, the people, humanity as a whole. But mm -hmm. I think uh, one thing that I do tend to think about a lot is how sensitive people are. And I think it's completely asinine that people are so sensitive all the time. Mm -hmm. If I was that sensitive all the time, I don't think I'd be alive anymore. Yeah. yeah I probably would be dead by now. Uh, but I don't. I think people need to be less sensitive. And I mean, like, being sensitive is a good thing. Yes. But when when you're having a conversation with someone and you and you get so angry that you just can't think straight, well, no one, that's, I think, I don't, under, I don't understand it. Yeah. I don't, I, can't, I don't get that sensitive mm -hmm. about things. I mean, I, there are things that I like, you know, some people love, appreciate, whatever. I feel those things too, but I don't. Yeah. Get it when people get so angry or they start crying in the middle of a conversation. I mean, these things are important. I don't mean to devalue them, but mm. why? Yeah. I, and, of course, another typical answer from a, <laughs> what what seems to be, a, <laughs> according to this thing, a typical five. <laughs> I don't get why people are so emotional. <laughs> but I think that's the thing. Like, you, mm -hmm. you see people talk and, um, like, like, oh, they'll say, like, a racial slur or something, and by no means do I condone racial slurs, but when mm -hmm. people just like get really angry about it, I mean, I, I, I slightly understand why people would get angry about it. I mean, it's not okay. I don't agree with it whatsoever. But when you start yelling and throwing punches and stuff, like, mm -hmm. that's a little bit different. I mean, you got to control yourself a little bit. I mean, remember, it takes two to tango. So, I mean, if one person is going to get mad at the other person for what a different person did, well, that person's accountable for it too. The mm -hmm. other person's equally accountable for how they yeah. respond to it. So I think that's probably the biggest deal that I have, no, have noticed. Um, did you say what the world needs more of or less yeah. of? Oh, more I of. think I answered what it needs less of. But that's like, yes. It needs then, less sensitivity. Less, it needs but, more tolerance. Yeah. Um, and that goes for just what I, I could be more tolerant too. But And maybe even that's a hot button touchy word that, you know, some mm -hmm. people throw around frequently i don't know but i think that's the way that i would describe it needs more tolerance mm -hmm. but, yeah no I, I like that i think but i mean it's yeah. important to have your views and it's important to hold on to what you believe to be true because you know that makes that gives you culture it gives you identity da, 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 da. but you have to understand that other people have these things too yes. you're not the only one yes that's a very good point 
I like that, yeah. yeah, I mean, whatever you want to call it, tolerance, respect. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are multitudes of words to describe it, but I think that's probably Mm -hmm. what I would say. Yeah, no, I like that a lot. And even with, like, I think, like, at least in the world that I'm in on, like, social media, it's very, like, I don't know if I, like, want to say that, or, like, it's it's almost, like, 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 valued to be... Like really sensitive, yeah, yes. Seeing that, yeah. Or like it's yes, and and I while I I do like because I'm I do I love when people are vulnerable and share their feelings and um, you know, but but there is a balance of like you can't take everything to heart, and you can't think that everything everyone does to you is out to get you, right. um, and that like I think, um, yeah, having I heard this somewhere else too, like having having a soft heart but like tough skin. Like, to just, like, you want to have a heart for people, but you can't let it, them... I think it was, like... A, oh. Oh. <laughs> Emily, Emily texts. She says, let me know when you're all done with the podcast. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. Oh. Okay. Um, but, yeah, like, I, th- I think it was a quote from a pastor or something. Because, like, when he's in ministry, like, talking to all the, people from all walks mm-hmm. of life, like, he says he, as a pastor, has to have tough skin. Right. You know, and Absolutely. I think I think what you're saying is like such a good reminder, especially like for me, like personally, even just like okay, like I don't need to be so sensitive about things. Like, yes, it's good to be soft and to like have that spot for for people and for what you you're feeling, but like you don't need to be so sensitive. Like, you don't need to take everything too hard. You know what I mean? Sometimes things just aren't. Some things aren't meant for the heart. You know what I mean? Right. They're literally just that. That they're just facts they're just what they are and that's well half the things people say i mean they don't even intend for you to take them to heart so why should you take them to heart if they don't even mean them (laughs) they weren't supposed to go there like you're just yeah it's it's an interesting thing but yeah i would say that sensitivity less of that more tolerance respect whatever 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 you want to call it but actually my initial answer was more habitat so that's (laughs) yeah there we go more good quality habitat (laughs) All right. Well, Kyle, this has been honestly like one of the most fun conversations I've had on the podcast. And actually, well, I was going to say you're the first guy, but my brother was actually beaten to it. So that's okay. You're you're the first person who was not my family, who is a guy. So I feel honored. Yes, I'm I'm so glad this worked out, actually. Um, I would this would be the part where I'd ask you, like, where people can find you. And what your social media links are. You'll find me in Montana at some point in in the next six months. (laughs) So if you're driving through, make sure you look for... I don't even know how they find you. They just the Red Rock they, Lakes National Wildlife Refuge. That's where I'm gonna be. There you go. Plan your next vacation there. Yeah. And you okay. find Kyle. There. there Improving the habitat. And... That's exactly what I'll be doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I will see you guys um, next week on the Laundry Chat podcast. Um, I hate ending this. You should end it for me. You should uh, say something. Well, have a good day and uh, check for holes in your pocket. Bye, you guys. <laughs> Yay! Good job, Kyle. Thanks for having me, That Molly. was so good. Oh, my gosh. Was it, though?